Hello, I'm Liam Carr, and I've been asked a couple of times how to plan a route on Google Maps. And it's quite easy, but Google Maps always assumes that we are car drivers, and we're not, we're cyclists. So we're going to plan a cycling route using Google Maps. The first thing you've got to do on Google Maps is you've got to find this bike here. Because it will assume that you want to drive your car on roads and not use cycle tracks and quiet lanes. So we click on cycling first. Then you've got to choose where you want to start. And because it's us doing it, we're going to start in Pedlin Square's uh, Cycling Cafe, which is here. Uh, Google's that good, the satellites are so good, you can almost see Adrian's beard uh, from space. So here we are, we started at uh, 34 Quality Road Road, which is Pedlin Squares. Um, and you can see that you've got Banana Studio Photography there and Vieri Velo. And we're going to ride our bikes to the new Vieri Velo shop in Newcastle. And this is just to give you an idea of how to plan this route. So what you do is, you, you pick a destination, right? And you drag the red destination marker to where you want to go. So I'm going to come down Swalwell Bank, okay? And you can see straight away that it's, it's gone a different way here. So what you've got to do is you've got to drag the route back to where you want it to be. So I'm going up the bank from Squares and then down Swalwell Bank there, all right? And then I just keep doing the same thing along here, I want to turn in here, zoom out again, and I want to get on this uh, bike track here. So let's do that. And then I'll drag myself along the bike track. Okay, across the river don't. There. Underneath the A1. Along the River Derwent path. And then I'm going to find my way along the Scotswood Bridge. There we are. I'll just wait for it to... Yep, that's perfect. Okay. And then I'm going to go across Scotswood Bridge and down the other side. Right? And I would like... See, it's, it's flicked up there. Did you see that? So I'm going to flick it back down to the road I want to be on. Which is this road here, Scotswood Road. And then I'm going to keep going along it. And what I would like to do is I'm going to go back onto, down onto the quayside there. The figure stops you from riding along the time there, so you've got to go along the quayside. Yep, this is perfect. Onto the Hadrian's Wall path. And you can see it keeps trying. As long as you keep dragging it and then moving your route, it keeps trying to um, to get you onto a different route, but you've just got to go up here, up fourth banks, and you can see it's put us on the main road. Now I don't want to be there, so you just get one of these dots here and drag it back down to the route, route that you want to be on, which is the Hadrian's Wall path. Uh, and let's find the new shop. So if we zoom in, The new Vieri Bello is down here. It's actually just there. Let's see if we can see it. There it is, Vieri Bello on the Newcastle. And then when you've finished your route, you can zoom out. And there is our route. Uh, it says it's taken us 32 minutes. We can do it much faster than that, but that's how long. Uh, there's the route that we've got and you can even see we've got a little profile here the final thing if you want to post this route on Facebook then you have to copy this right? and then you can paste that uh, wherever you want and this exact route will come up on the person's computer screen the other thing you can do you can post a photo of your route just by pressing this print screen button um, and then you can copy that into a photograph um, which we can easily do using our accessories and uh, I just use paint and that's pretty basic but it's pretty easy there you've got our route um, and we can crop it so we just get the bit that we want 
Uh, and another clever thing you can do, it's a little bit more tricky, but another clever thing you can do is you can get the profile up if you're on a longer route. So you just print screen it again and paste it again. Um, but the, the bit that we want is this, so we can easily just select that, just the profile. Stick it in the corner so then people have got an idea of how many hills they're going up, which is obviously a good thing. And then we'll crop the rest out. And just crop it again. And that is how you plan a route, cycle route, on Google Maps. And it's also how you get from Pedal and Squares to Nick's new shop uh, near the Centre for Life. Thanks for watching. I'm Liam Carr. I'll see you for a ride sometime.